Well, you know how it is. Another year and more series to read. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard of Reads. And today, guys, today I have got my priority 2023 list here for you. But before we get into that, we got to do all of that YouTube nonsense. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video because it does help the channel grow. Also, make sure you check in the description box down below for the link to the Wizardly Joe Discord, as well as links to all of my social media, including information about my Patreon. And guys, um, basically, this is for 2023. Now, I did go back and uh, watch my 2022 video to kind of see how I did in terms of my priority series. And you can watch that up in the cards. Um, the 2021 video is privated because that was uh, a seeming pile of hot garbage. But uh, it's funny because my buddy Mike from Mike's Book Reviews likes to tease me that I am the DNF king. And this year I kind of proved the point because I laid out 10 series that I wanted to start. Uh, in 2022, and that these were my priority series that I really wanted to try. I DNF'd half of them. Uh, in there, we have got the Keepers Trilogy by David Dalgish. Uh, I just didn't really, I wasn't really sucked into the story. And I mean, those are some thick books. And so I just decided to move on and read for something that was just going to grab me a little better. I did the Black Iron Legacy, the Blue, the Black, the Gutter by Gareth Hanrahan. These were some books that I was really excited for. And I just kept passing on them and passing on them until I finally had to kind of have that kind of, you know, realization, that talk with myself of, Andrew, if you haven't read them yet and you've put them on your TBR four, five, six times and you still haven't read the book, are you really going to read the book? Now, I know my buddy Matt on books loves this series. I never really kind of gave it a fair shot. I just, it was something that wasn't calling to me. So, you know, if you want to try it, please let me know uh, how it is because, Frankly, I, I might I might pick that one back up later down the road um, on audio. And we'll just we'll just have to see what happens there. I then DNF'd the Divine Citizens trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. That City of Stairs and all of that, all of those three books. Uh, I forget the other two, but uh, I got about halfway through the first book and I was like, I none of this is clicking with me. Uh, and so I messaged some friends who have read it and they were like, Oh well, the first book really only gets good towards the, you know, the second half. And at that point I was writing burnout and I was like, guys, I need something that's going to entertain me immediately. And so that, that also just got put to the side. Uh, also I read the first book of the divide. I did read that book. I did not read the second book. I just wasn't really all that interested in continuing it. Uh, there was just something about the concept that I struggled to wrap my small human mind around uh and it was just it was something that i couldn't stop thinking about and it, in the end i was just like you know what this is probably this just probably one isn't one that is for me and then the other one that i dnf'd is the reborn empire and uh this one it was mongol inspired fantasy it was very dark but it, there's something about like a book being dark like i like darkness within my fantasy i like dark fantasy but there are certain things that are just like, that's kind of graphic. I don't really want to be reading that right now. And so that's kind of where I sat on that particular book. And so I just ended up moving those off of the shelves as well. And then I have a few that I just didn't get to. Uh, and Adrian Tchaikovsky's The, oh God, The Echoes of the Wolf, Echo Saga, something like that, Tiger and the Wolf. Um, this is one I still want to read. It's still on the shelf. I just didn't end up getting it to this year. I really dived deep into the self-pub, and I just wasn't able to get to it. And then, of course, Jade City. Don't worry, I can hear you yelling at me through the camera. I know that this is a booktube, darling, and I will read it. I promise. I might even read it in 2023. It's just not going to be on the priority list. And then, of course, Sean Russell's Brotherhood Duology. I'll read Sean Russell one day when somebody strong arms me into it. But uh, right now, I'm, there's just so much on the shelf that I'm excited to read that that one's just not quite calling uh, calling my name right now to be read. And then I'm currently reading The Bone Chips by R.J. Barker. And this one starts out really rough, but I'm about halfway through it right now at the time of filming, and I love it. So that one, I will consider that one read. And then I read, you know, a couple others here and there. But uh, let's talk about 2023's priority reading list because this is... 
going to be awesome. Uh, I believe I've got some buddy reads with my patrons, which, I mean, my patrons are completely awesome. They help me grow the channel. They help kind of sustain me and keep me going. Uh, they help offset a lot of the costs. So I just want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. And speaking of patrons, I believe I am buddy reading this, I think. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Uh, Chris from Official a fictional escapist, uh, I believe we are doing a Cycle of Fire Janie Warts. Now, I could be wrong on this, but I've been wanting to get into Cycle of Fire and specifically Janie Warts. I know my buddy Nico loved this trilogy. This is a trilogy bind-up, which is why I get to include it on the series list because it's actually three books <laughs> and it's about wizards. And the wizard should read about wizards. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong! <laughs> That's right. That's what I thought. I'm correct, as always. No, nah, maybe not. We'll see. That sounds a little egotistical. Let's not lean into that. Uh, so that is definitely one that I want to get to. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I've heard Janie Words has beautiful prose. And yeah, uh, if you want to get into Janie Words, I've heard that's a great kind of entry level. <laughs> because her prose is very purple, very beautiful. But this one's a little bit more accessible. Then uh, I got a couple Norse... Uh, fantasy books and series here and those two are northern wrath by total cold holt now this one i'm hearing is an absolute underrated series here on booktube the covers are absolutely gorgeous the trilogy just recently completed and frankly i just cannot wait to read this one i really want to read this with uh, i believe my buddy jordan the boiled jellyfish either he's already started it or he's waiting to start it and i don't quite remember but uh, I want to start this one so that I can talk with him about it because he is really excited about this series. And I've seen a few other people who say that series is just totally underrated. So I'm excited to find out. And then we've got Ben Galley's Emanesca, starting with The Written. I only have the first book on paperback, but I will be getting the rest on paperback. I can't quite uh, swing for those beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous Kickstarter editions. But the paperbacks are awesome. They are beautiful in of themselves. I like these little logos here. I believe this is Norse uh, fantasy. So, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to get to this for a while. I own this book three ways. I've got it on ebook, I've got it on audio, and I've got it on paperback. I just need to read it. So, that's Emanesca. Then we've got Kingdom of Liars by Nick Martell. I don't know the name of this series, but I do know that my booktube big sister, Leslie, absolutely loves this series. My friend and patron, Sharon completed the trilogy for me, so I have all three books, and I, it's just something that really, really appeals to me, so I want to read these ones. Next up, my patron and friend Twainy, uh, for my birthday last year, got me, uh, what's this, Saga of the Forgotten Warrior, there we go, I was forgetting the name, which is an absolute travesty, these kind of really cool, interesting uh, books, this series is not complete, but I believe in 2023, book four is coming out. I don't know if that's the final book or what what have you. I will be picking up the fourth book, but I do want to get into this because I did enjoy Monster Hunter International and Grim Noir Chronicles by Larry Correa. So this is something that I want to prioritize because I hear that these stories are really cool and the maps are just awesome. All right, I've got a few left here. Making a Return. This is the only series making a return from 2022. Uh, my patron and friend, Trin, from Portable Magic, uh, Draconis Memoria. This is the only one making a return to the Priority Series list. 2023, I want to read Draconis Memoria, at least The Waking Fire. And I know if I read The Waking Fire, I'm going to read the other three, two books. Three books? Two books. I'm going to read the other two books because, frankly, that's how I am with Anthony Ryan, is I just have to marathon his work because the man is just awesome. All right, and next, because my buddy Alan has gotten me into historical fiction, and uh, I've been kind of just getting more and more into, like, Flintlock, and this is kind of the mixture of Flintlock and historical fiction, and that's Bernard Cornwell's Sharp series. Now, I've got the first five books of this in UK hardcover, and if I like it, of course, I will collect the other editions. I've got a few of these are signed. Tiger's not signed, but uh, I really want to explore Sharp just because... I really like that kind of, I believe this is set in the Napoleonic era, but I could be wrong. I don't know a whole lot about Sharp other than that people who read it seem to really enjoy it. And I'm just wanting to become a 
be- a more well-rounded historical fiction reader because uh, I loved the Warlord Chronicles by Bernard Cornwell, so I'm excited to explore more of his work. Speaking of my buddy Alan, we have got Death Gate Cycle here. This is Dragon Wing Volume One, and I know my buddy Bookish Chaz also really enjoys this series. And frankly, just some really cool. Let's see if we can get rid of that glare. Really cool classic fantasy covers. Um, if I really like this, I might upgrade to the hardcovers because, frankly, like I'm excited to read this. I've heard nothing but rave reviews. I've heard it's nothing like Dragonlance. And it's been a long time since I picked up a Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman book and absolutely loved that reading experience. They were some of my favorites growing up and I just want to feel that magic again. I want to feel that excitement of picking up a Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman book. Oh, you don't know how excited I am. I've been, I've been holding on to this. I think for over a year now, waiting to buddy read it with Alan. So I think we may do something in either February or March where we start this. But again, I'll just have to I'll have to coordinate with Alan. Or I just might start it without him because I, I don't know how much longer I can hold off on reading these. And then my friend, Joanna, is starting in a song of ice and fire read-along. So of course, I've got a Game of Thrones. I have never read a song of ice and and fire. So I feel like 2023 is the year to do so. And these UK illustrated editions are just stunningly gorgeous. I love that foiling and that uh, almost gilding. Would that be gilded or foiled? I don't know, but it's just, it's awesome. It's beefy. The art's amazing. I cannot wait to dive into this story and finally see what all the rage is about. And then again, we've got another uh, Raymond E. Feist and Janie Wirtz appearing again. Speaking of Joanna, I am hoping I'm trying to wrangle her into a buddy read of the, uh, I believe this is Daughter of the Empire. I think that's what this is. No, this is the Empire Trilogy. There we go. This is Daughter of the Empire's name of the book, the Empire Trilogy. This is kind of the follow up slash side series to the Rift War. It's been a long time coming for me, coming back to Raymond E. Feist. And I would just love to get this. My buddy Patrick loves this series. He loves it. He highly recommends it. He recommends it so much, I went ahead and bought a special edition from Grim Oak Press before I even read the series. So these are the series that I really want to prioritize in 2023. Now, I will be doing another video kind of talking about standalones and self-pub and stuff like that. This is just a series that I have not started a book, and that's why Malazan isn't here. I've already read three Malazan books. I'm currently reading Malazan in 2022, so that's why it's not here on this list. These are things I have not started. These are things that I am excited to start. I have no idea how the quality of these series, but again, I am just excited and I want to prioritize these in 2023. That said, guys, that's really all I've got here for you today. So as always, till next time, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons.